Okay, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for the month of June. And I've, I've drawn a couple extra cards for the last few days of the month. So we have, you know, five, five rows here. So this will be the first week, second, third, fourth, and then the 28th, 29th, and 30th for these two cards. And so for this month, we have um, the full moon at 15 degrees Sag, and it's a full moon lunar eclipse, and that'll be on Friday, I, you know, this first week here. So Friday the 5th. And, um, and then we have the solstice on the th on the 20th, so the third week here, and it's a new moon solstice. Uh, and of course the new moon, uh, every new moon of the month is always the perfect, uh, a couple days leading up to it, the day of, and the couple days after are wonderful times to um, work on what you want to bring in, what you want to manifest in the future. And because this is the new moon solstice, and it's a solar eclipse so solstice, so it brings even more power to that new moon. Um, and so, because the, the moon will be kind of in front of the sun, so you'll have the power of the, you know, all the creative force in the universe and then the reflective power to receive it with the moon. Uh, happening on the 20th. I, I didn't write down the exact time, so you'll have to look that up, but um, it's a zero degrees Cancer, and of course that's the summer solstice. It's the day that the Sun returns to zero degrees Cancer every year, and it brings in, it ushers in the summer. You know, it's the first day of summer. So that's really, uh, this looks like a wonderful week here for, for you Leos, um, with all that creative creative self-expression that is wonderful in your sign, which I absolutely love. Uh, but with the first week here, oh yeah, and I forgot Father's Day is up here too on the 21st, so don't forget Father's Day. <laughs> I, okay, so on uh, the first week, I know the Three of Swords, it looks like it, I mean, and, and I do use five different, I use different decks for each week so that, uh, you know, we, we have more uh, opportunity for, uh, for, you know, for accuracy. So, uh, it, there, we do have a repeat here. And, but, it, you know, I don't read this card as being so bad. I, it, 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 if you do have a challenging time, please let me know. You know, leave me comments and, you know, let our little community support you. Um, but I, I see this as more of a breakthrough. And, because, yeah, you know, it's like a broken heart is an open heart. And sometimes the broken heart is just, it's not bad. It's just a few negative words that somebody said, or a text that you got, or something in an email where the words weren't perfect. You know, because, of course, when we're dealing with, you know, any type of, you know, electronic communication, unless you can hear the voice, you don't get the inflection. You don't get to feel the energy that's, you know, behind the words. And then sometimes some people say things with an inflection that does bring in, even though the words might not be negative, they might be smiling in a weird way that makes it feel, in, un, you know, insincere. Um, so sometimes there's lots of misunderstanding that can happen or, you know, outright negativity that you notice that can be, it can be heartbreaking and it does make you want to scream. <laughs> You know, but what I see with these two cards combined for the whole week is the energy of yes, let yourself feel wherever you're feeling broken hearted, uh, you know, where you just want to scream. Where you know, maybe screaming would be the thing to do, you know, just scream into a pillow, or if you're alone at home, you know, scream however you want to scream, you know, just don't scare your neighbors, right. <laughs> Or, or your pets or, you know, plants, things like that. You, you might want to be careful about that. But scream however you need to scream. And let it come through. Because when we do that, it breaks up the energy that, I mean, notice how it's like we, we've got like kind of a scythe that can go go through the heart, you know. But when we when we feel that pain, when we have that, you know, that 
that challenging energy come through and we allow it, you know, we allow it to go through our heart, it doesn't mean that, you know, that it's going to stay with us forever. It's a release of energy. And then it brings you into your body in a whole new way to where you do have more energy because that's, that's the way of the universe. It's all one energy current. And to the degree that we heal whatever pain we need to feel, whatever we need to go through, to that degree that we commit to feeling all of our feelings and going through it. And, just, you know, of course, don't hurt anybody with it. But, um, or if you do, you know, make amends best you can. And then forgive yourself and move on. And hopefully they will forgive you too. But I uh, to let yourself feel whatever needs to come through. Because who knows for how long, you know, like who knows how many lifetimes, uh, you know, we may have had this little area of a broken heart that we hadn't been able to process through completely for whatever reason. Um, and now, in this week, it looks like we have that opportunity. And it does create, this is a very Leo card here. All the, all the wands are ruled by Leo. So Leo to me is just like life force energy. It's like, it's sun energy. It's divine will. It, now, it can be where we need to let go of, of like, you know, e egoic, you know, kind of negative will, like, you know, my way or the highway kind of thing uh, in, in its distortion. And that may be what you're experiencing, that somebody did that to you. It was kind of like my way or the highway. And you're like, no, I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to love. I'm trying to do the right thing. And, and that's not what I'm experiencing coming back to me. So that can be very painful. But when you feel the pain it releases that much more life force. You know, you know how it is, you have a good cry, then it's like, oh, okay, I feel, I feel better. You're, you're more in your body, right? So we've all experienced that, we know what that's like. But I love this card coupled with, with, with the Three of Swords because when we do meet the pain and we do open up and let our energy flow, we're much, much bigger beings. And that's where the divine will comes in and supports you. And that's where you have the power to create something new. Your heart beats better. You know what I mean? This can be looked at as like the heartbeat. It's your own heartbeat. It's, it, it's your, your own, all the pillars of support of fire around you. It, it's, you know, you moving to the beat of your own drum, if you just look at this card literally, right? So... Again, a, you know, a broken heart is an open heart, and, and just let yourself feel whatever needs to come through, and you'll be better for it. And then in the second week, well, we have the magician here. Now, the magician is fantastic for, well, that energy and consciousness in the highest level is knowing that you have everything you need within you, within every cell of your body, within the nucleus of every cell of your body, and within the entire universe, because the universe is inside of us, right? We are stardust. We are life force. We are spiritual fluids. We are everything is, is within us and without. And when we tune into that, we realize that we can create just about anything we want in infin infinity, right? See, we've got the little, what's it called, lemniscate? Or I may, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but the little infinity symbol that that, you know, in a traditional rider way, the magician has, you know, one arm up and one down, you know, like from the heavens down to earth, it's like as above, so below. So you have all the tools within you to put into the universe. And the universe is bound by law to receive us, you know, whatever we put out there. Actually, all of who we are, uh, you know, everything that's inside of us, all of who we are is emanating from within, you know, outward uh, constantly. And that's how we magnetize, you know, whatever we need to magnetize in order to heal. So, so this, coupled with the Three of Swords again, tells me that you have everything you need inside of you to heal any area of your broken heart and any area of life where you, you know, you need to let go of like critical words. Maybe somebody was critical and they didn't realize how, or or maybe they did, and it's, you know, to the degree that they're conscious or not, doesn't matter. When we're hurt, we're hurt. And so, again, let yourself feel the pain. 
and and that it will renew the the pain will just remember you know back here the the pain will will clear and then you have more free flowing life force so there's a regeneration between these two cards when we when we you know tap into any pain that we need to process and it, it's just the way life is you know we're we're here with all of our brothers and sisters and we're all interdependent upon each other and we're so imperfect and we sometimes say the wrong things or do the wrong things that or we do hurtful things and and um you know it's it's an opportunity to process the pain and then forgive and let go okay so with the third week here i so it, again at the end of the week here on the 20th we have that new moon solar eclipse at zero degrees cancer and this you know the summer solstice begins what a beautiful card to have for that <laughs> so these two cards together are amazing for tapping into the divine mind of your community if i were to just put these two together brainstorming you know mind storming about uh you know with your brothers and sisters it doesn't have to be you know just a feminine card but brainstorming about all the abundance that you guys can create together and and how to open up to all the ideas how you know when you're with others and and you all have your turn to speak uh you you kind of well not kind of it happens to me all the time where somebody explains something to me that i or maybe already knew or they're sharing something about themselves and it helps me remember something about myself or i I get I I'm sparked by their ideas like their ideas spark something in me and and so it's it's more it's it's opening up to to more that you get when you're with others so this can also be uh, creating a way that you guys can celebrate something together there might be a bit of a I mean literally because of it's the you know the solstice and it's a new moon solar eclipse this may be planning you know the 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 divine order and the truth and the clarity of planning a celebration and uh you know maybe something outdoors and under the stars because it's a new moon i i wish i would have written down exactly what time but you know it's something that you always have to look up anyway because it depends on where you are and what time zone you're in um so yeah, so that that just this looks like a wonderful week to open up to more, more abundance, more love, more sharing, more like-minded connections with with you know who whoever are your you know whoever is blessed to have you as part of their community, and uh, and and how you know there's no end to that. It, it when you're in the benign realm of love and abundance it just it grows it grows and grows and you get more and more ideas there might be and get like empathing kind of like a little bit of the feeling of it might be a little overwhelming and you may want to when i tap into this card you might want to just take lots of deep breaths and breathe it in and write down all your ideas because you might get so much energy that comes through so many ideas that come through all at once that it can be a little hard to handle especially because after going through these two weeks here where you you know opened your heart and more energy is flowing through you your your body still has to integrate that much energy when the life force you know is free and it sometimes is a little painful you this may be uh you know a little bit of like an achy heart like when you open your heart to truly love love yourself and love others in in a you know bigger way than you ever have all of that connective tissue that's around the heart can be a little achy for a while and it's that way in any area of your body as in uh, like when you're coming into more of a an empowering position you might have a, an empowering uh, you know level of consciousness in your body in your being your your body has to open in a new way and so you may have a little bit of like lower back and hip pain um just because the 
if you imagine that the, well, it's not really an imagining, this is the way it is. When you have a, ri a rigid thought form about a rigid belief that's held within about this is the way things are. This is who I am. Uh, I don't get more than that. This is, I, I, you know, I, I, always, I always have these problems and it's always going to be that way. When we're in that type of an attitude and a belief, then at some point we have to break it up. We have to feel the pain that that, you know, that false belief has caused. And and when we do that, when we feel the pain, when we go through it, and we're clearing it out of our bodies, we're releasing it, then uh, the, uh, the cellular memory is breaking up in a whole different way. And because the universe is flowing within, uh, bigger and more powerfully than it ever has before, what happens is, is that um, all that tissue, all that connective tissue, is more enlivened. I mean, even like just, of course, it's within every cell of, you know, your blood plasma, you know, red and white blood cells, uh, you know, connective tissue, bone structure, everything. Your, our bodies are constantly trying to heal. And yes, of course, we age and, and things, you know, we're meant to have a different, you know, more gentle experience. But the, the key is just to remember that we're always trying to... Uh, to ground in more of our spirit that's, that's welling up from within and is coming in through the universe as well. And as we do that, our beings begin to inhabit our bodies more and our, we're literally spiritualizing matter within our body, with every breath, with all of our consciousness. We're, we're always trying to free you know, our internal spirit. And as we do that, and as we're doing that work, it can sometimes be, a, you know, uncomfortable. We can have periods of uh, just really needing a lot of rest and needing to to clear. So, so that's why I was getting the guidance here in this week to, uh, you know, yes, open to all the beauty and the bounty of celebration and abundance, but be really careful, you know, not to push yourself too much in the next week. Uh, you know, make sure you get the rest to integrate from these two weeks where you're, I think you're doing some deep work. Okay, now into the fourth week, we have Father's Day here. So, you know, sometimes with the chariot, it's uh, it's one of the gateways of getting, you know, tapping into, on the highest levels, is tapping into your divine will, letting go of your uh, mental will and moving forward from your inner will, you know, so your, so your ego has one agenda and then your, and it always thinks it has to move forward and it has to always be busy and it has to accomplish and it has to, has to, has to, has to. <laughs> I must, I must, I must. So when you let go of that, and you're moving forward in life from your inner will, which your inner will, your higher self, your eternal spirit, you know, in the being of who you are, that divine intelligence is always moving forward, but not in the linear way that we think it is. Sometimes it can mean that we, you know, we go back in and we recreate, and sometimes it means we stop and we rest and we, we just go through our, you know, our frustrating times. And other times we celebrate and we're with others who uh, have gone through the same experience or, or are willing to hold us in our, our experience. Um, so with, with this card, I would just say, you know, it may be sometimes that you, you take it, you know, you're going for a drive because it very well can, you know, on the literal means it can be, you know, a drive on a new adventure to just to get out because we haven't been able to for so long, right? And so it, it may be towards the, um, you know, the, at the end of the month, there's plans to, to go on a, a little bit of an adventure. And uh, because especially, you know, if you, if you do have kids, you know, any type of like homeschooling, you can take a break or, or if they've been on, you know, on online classes with their teachers, um, you know, there's definitely it's summertime and they get a break. <laughs> so it could be planning that, especially coupled with the Three of Cups here. And, and just all of these, you know, this, this can be together, these two weeks can be opening up to new ideas to move forward in life, but also to go on a new adventure. Uh, you know, travel, adventure, and 
you know, having fun with people, maybe going to join up with people that you love. And of course, you know, there's still social distancing going on, but you guys know how to handle that. You know how to work with that so that you're safe and everyone's protected. Um, so, so it can be that, or it can also be just on the inner realms, tapping into your divine will, your divine inner will that knows it's always moving towards the greater good of the whole and the greater good for you in your life. And you're willing to trust, to trust that the universe will carry you, that the universe, that the divine order, the divine intelligence, the cosmic consciousness, the forces of love, you know, uh, God, source energy, whatever you want to call it, that we are held within that web of, of pure potentiality where we can create just about anything that we want within reason here on earth. And in fact, it's already you know, created in the spirit world for us. It's, you know, we're, we're just moving towards opening up to the experience of it, whatever it is. And this last week and towards the end of the month, it can definitely be about opening up to new levels of what you want to create and letting yourself, allowing yourself to be on that adventure of not knowing what it is. To allow yourself to just move in the direction that you want to go and try to stay focused, you know, try to keep your, your horses in their own lane, right? <laughs> try to stay moving forward in the right direction that you want to go in. And then from there, let, just let it go to the universe. Let the universe bring you even more than you possibly could have imagined on your own. And then towards the end of the month, the last few days, it looks like there's there are opportunities for creating... For, for actually creating the uh, experience or having the experience even more of an experience of coming full circle with something where you've done your best, you've done all you can, and now it's time to pat yourself on the back and let yourself be in it. You know, when you really open up to the universe, to all of the forces of love, when you open up to that power, it just it it drops in it brings in the benign circle of love of the sustainability of all the beauty of the earth all the you know the beauty of nature i mean my goodness we have so much right we, i mean we have the stars at night we have beautiful water all over the planet we have we have all our awesome friends you know and and all the the fantastic juicy life force and fiery life force and and great ideas and clarity and truth and we can just keep moving forward into that and you know of course feel whatever whatever we need to feel along the way but as we keep opening to that we we go through life in an undefended way where we feel whole within where there's a, a, a place inside where you know you've really got yourself, like you know who you are. Because if you're willing to do your grief work, which, you know, nobody can do for you, no one else can do that for, for you. Like we all have to do our own grief work, we all have to feel our own feelings, and we can't put that on anyone else. But when we do it, we come back into our own. And we are, we are whole and complete already inside. But what, what happens when we do the grief work is that we break up any type of, you know, rigidity that was, that was, you know, bound over the soul substance, over the, sometimes over the heart, you know. And when it breaks up, it's free and it clears out. And, you know, you breathe in a different way. Your body moves in a different way. You think in a different way. You're open in a whole new way. And, and from there, it's much more you know, of an undefended experience to move through life where you don't need to resist anything because you know that no matter what may come to you, you have everything within you and you have a support system. Uh, you know, you have family and friends who love you and you, and you can always make new friends as well. New friends come in all the time, new, new and old. We all have, you know, extended family and we all have uh, people who, who love us, sometimes just from afar because we don't live in the same state. But when we open up to all that love of the universe, we realize that no matter what may happen, we can, we're, we're held and, and we can 
uh, get through anything that comes our way. So we don't, therefore, we don't need to go through life resisting. We don't, and we especially, most importantly, don't need to resist anything within. Like we don't need to hide anything from ourselves. We can be really honest with ourselves. And that's how you, you live, you know, free. That's how you live freely as a, as a human being, when you can be really, really honest with yourself. So, okay, I think that's it. Um, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers. I, I'm so grateful that you subscribe to my channel and I'll do my best to bring you, uh, you know, more valuable information every month. And um, uh, yeah, meanwhile, remember to watch the videos that uh, also correlate to your moon and your ascendant. And you know, because you'll you'll get a rounded out, um, you'll get a lot more information that way to support you on your path. And yeah, other than that, just take take very very good care. And I'll be back next month. Okay, bye.